Two senators, one from each side of the aisle, coming together to push crypto regulations. Elon Moy joins us right now. She's got more on this story. And Elon, we're watching this pretty closely. What can you tell us? Well, Becky, a bipartisan pair of lawmakers is unveiling sweeping new crypto legislation today that aims to foster innovation, provide regulatory clarity, and protect consumers from bad actors. The proposal from GOP Senator Cynthia Lummis and Democrat Kirsten Gillibrand divides digital assets into two buckets. Fully decentralized cryptos like Bitcoin and Ether are defined as commodities and therefore regulated by the CFTC. Securities are overseen by the SEC. But there's also a gray area of so-called ancillary assets. They're not fully decentralized but don't meet the threshold of being a security. Think of Cardano or Solana. Those are presumed to be commodities but must file disclosures with the SEC twice a year. Now, the bill also establishes new rules for stable coins, which both the Fed and the White House have asked Congress to weigh in on. The bill requires stable coins to maintain 100 percent reserves in high quality liquid assets and to provide regular public disclosures. It also creates a process for banks to issue stable coins and a special charter for other financial institutions to do so as well. I'm told that Lummis and Gillibrand have talked to lawmakers across the spectrum about this proposal, conservatives, progressives, as well as their party leadership. Becky, they say this bill is not bipartisan. It's actually nonpartisan because support, support does not fall neatly into any party lines. Back over to you. It may not fall neatly into party lines, but what are the odds that they can actually build a consensus and get enough to get something passed? Yeah, so it's going to be an uphill battle. What they say is that this is sort of the start of the conversation. Uh, they have reached out to other lawmakers who have weighed in on this in the past. Think about a Pat Toomey with the stablecoin framework. You guys have talked to Josh Gottheimer about his plans, Patrick McHenry. So there are a lot of other lawmakers who have weighed in on sort of bits and pieces of this. They were reaching out to those offices, having conversations with them, and incorporating some of those ideas into this sort of overarching framework because they say there needs to be a clear picture because part of the problem right now is that the regulation of crypto was sort of done piecemeal by different agencies. Uh, there's not clear definitions that work across those regulatory lines, and that's part of what they're trying to achieve with this bill.